Christmas time is here. Yeah. We're one work week away from Christmas. And I have the Santa hat on. I bring good tidings and gifts to you, sir. As you see yeah, in front of you. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> it's, an well, inter- it's an interesting gift for uh, the morning and the work day. That's a great way to start your day. So we were talking about in an earlier episode, You, we were talking about our favorite, favorite Christmas movies. Yep. One of yours that you mentioned was... National Lampoon, Christmas Vacation. Exactly. Watched it this weekend. And you said, I really want these mugs. And I found them. And you got and the I mugs. Bought them. You got the moose mugs. And I brought the moose mugs. Yeah. So I thought it appropriate to maybe use the holiday season to kick off a new Real Talk series. Yeah. Spirits in film. <laughs> Drinks in film. I don't know what we call them. Because every movie has iconic drinks. Yeah. But before we talk on to that. You call it real spirits, but like R-E-E-L. I don't know if I like that. Anyway, (laughs) uh, but before we get kicked off onto that, we got to make the drink. Okay. First of all. So this is inspired by, this is not inspired. This is the drink from National Lampoon's A Christmas Vacation. Don't know if they had liquor, but by judging from the people involved, it had liquor. Eddie and him drank it. There was booze in there for sure. Um, So... I've never had eggnog. I've had eggnog, never with alcohol in it. Mm-hmm. And so I really don't know how to prepare it. I know that you can prepare it from scratch, you know, and like make like a real batch of wholesome, you know, 1730s eggnog like they used to do when all their food would kill them. And that was the only way to make sure the egg didn't sour was just overload it with, you know, alcohol. Is that actually why it was? I don't know that if that's way? actually why, but I mean, like, if you read how to actually prepare yeah, eggnog yeah. from nothing, it seems it's, like that's it's why like it was... two dozen eggs. It is a it's cognac, brandy, bourbon. Like it is just every single liquor. Pretty much what I figured out is like end of the year, old you know back in the day they had to they wanted to have an excuse to empty out their liquor cabinet, so they just poured everything into a vat, threw some eggs in there because like that was a way that people used to drink alcohol was with eggs. They would crack eggs yep, into vodka. Yep, yep. I knew you should that. try it sometime. It's very tasty actually. Hmm. It's like a frothy kind of thing. It's pretty good. I mean, I, I, people still do that. Yeah, it's but not But they bad. use more like the egg whites. Like Nah, you just throw the whole egg in there. Okay. I mean, it's all pasteurized. It's, yeah. it's not going to yeah. kill you. Yeah. Right. And this was they were doing this before pasteurization was a thing. So, I mean, you know, just got a bunch of people. I mean, I'm no stranger eating raw eggs. A bunch of people uh, coming together for the Christmas holidays and getting smallpox. I mean, whatever. It's a cool thing. <laughs> um, so, anyway. So, yeah. So, I was reading on it one year, and I was just blown away about how expensive a real genuine batch of eggnog yeah, would cost like how much money it would actually cost to make it. It would be very expensive, um, so that has stopped me from doing it. So then I was just doing some research. Well, how do you actually take pre-bought eggnog like we have here? It's a deluxe, old-fashioned mm-hmm. eggnog, ultra pasteurized. Yeah, this he- is a, this looks like it's always better when it's in a cardboard box. Well. But it's foil lined. You can see they have a stamp on the right. Back. It's so, nice, and it says freshness or lasts longer, stays fresher good. longer. I great. mean, it smells great. Yeah. I love eggnog. You love eggnog. So I do like it's it. It's not something I regularly put into my rotation. Oh, the I. It's an every year thing. For but me. I thought for me, you know, normally we have our coffee cups here. I thought, hey, we could take this in a new direction. So anyway, so back to how to prepare it. I was just okay. doing some brief reading, and it recommends brandy, but the supermarket was out of brandy. So, so the other it. one was cognac. Okay. So we, we went with Martel VS Cognac mm. today. It's a, it's a... <laughs> I've never had cognac. <laughs> Have you had cognac? I've had cognac a long time ago. I don't know what brand it was. So I think somebody just handed it to me. With... And you just drank it. it just like drank it. It was like a cognac and cigar pairing. Fair enough. So I thought we could be kind of classy today and drink our cognac. I mean, it smells good. It smells like a whiskey. I don't mm-hmm. know. If that's probably a whiskey, right? It, I thought brandy was a wine, but I'm just probably thinking that of, because of, like, Lord of the Rings. Brandy, brandy wine. wine. Getting drunk on brandy wine. Or, like, Interview with a Vampire. <laughs> See how much alcohol shows up in movies? It just gives you something to talk about in the yeah. world of cinema. So, anyway, so I thought we would do it. So, anyway, they said take two ounces of uh, two ounces of cognac and put it into the eggnog. So, I thought, you know, two ounces is a shot. So, we got All our right. shot here. So, so we, we got we the just, shot. We could just add that in. Are you, oh, I was going to cheers you. Oh, uh, well, no. We're cheering it after we mix oh, okay. it. okay. It's bad luck if you cheers and don't drink. Also true. Yes, so we don't want bad luck. And so we'll put the, what we'll do is we'll put the liquor in first. Yep. Uh, and then we'll <laughs> pour we'll we'll pour the eggnog Here's gently the... in swirling circles over it. Yeah. Uh, so it mixes in with the liquor. Is oh. that like the actual in, 
instructions. No, this is me being people. a cooking show telling you how to do it. Should, probably should have had like some should stirring straws. More. Wow, look at that. It just sits right on top. That's kind of nice. Can I can I fill you up there, sir? Yes, please. Okay. So we're going to just come along like that. Ooh, give it a nice swirling action. Let the eggnog mix into that. Look at that. Let it barely mix in. Holy cow, that is just... That is all that on is top. That is sitting on that top. That is all on top. Have a spoon if you're mixing eggnog. Yeah, it, apparently it does not As you can mix in its, on get, its own. Try to help you see it here in the close-up. You can see that nice, fine... Oh, yeah, that nice, fine, fine separation. Yeah, mm, I mean, that is... That is all sitting on top. Maybe separated. You can, actually, maybe you can see it better in this camera. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, we'll give it a nice Looks little... Like a flan We'll almost. give her... <laughs> I mean, it does look... You can just feel the resistance on the spoon. Yeah, you should, yeah. You the, should stir You bought some good, thick eggnog. Good, I'm glad. I mean, you should... Like, eggnog... Only the best for you at only Christmas, the, Steve. Only the good eggnog is the kind that's, like, almost hard to drink. Look at that. That is just slurry. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you stir yours so you can have the build the appreciation for how thick that is. Yeah. I mean that is some resistance. You can feel that. That's good eggnog. That's like that's not mixing creamer into coffee. That's like stirring paint. This is like stirring paint. Yeah. You're right. Right. But hey, I think it I think it looks like a nice elegant cup. Oh gosh. Oh, are you spilling? Oh, you're I'm spilling. spilling. It can't take you anywhere. It looks nice on top. It's very strong. Whew. Very strong. And All with right. that. Clinkies. Here's cheers. Cheers to Christmas holidays. <laughs> to Christmas. I mean, that's not bad. That's got the smooth of eggnog. Yeah. And you know, it takes the edge off the eggnog a little bit by putting that alcohol in there. <laughs> you don't you? It's supposed to be the other way around. No, I feel like eggnog like hits you hard sometimes. Where no. Just, where, you, where it feels like you're just like. I mean, it's good. And that's a good drink. It's I, good. I can see why. So I have, I do have something to, like, judge it up against because my sister actually makes eggnog every year, like from scratch. Not like the actual, yeah. What you were saying, right. like the well, that, what's crazy she about makes, it? She makes like the two day version. Okay, two day version. Because like normally, what I was reading I was like, you prepare this stuff, yeah. you get it all thick and slurried, yeah, and then you let it sit in your fridge for like two weeks. Right. Right. So like when you bring it out at Christmas party, there's like a layer of film on it. Yeah, you it's like you like, got you got eggnog mousse that's like yeah three hundred percent alcohol. And that's like a thing. <laughs> she makes like the two day version. It's really good. I mean, this isn't bad. Like ser- like for literally just like buying some booze and buying some eggnog. I mean, yeah. it's it's pretty decent, and and I do see why they go together. Um, Man, here's the. Here's the thing. I never thought about this until literally just when you bought these. Okay. When you showed up with these in the morning, I always just thought, oh, right. It's the moose heads from National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. Yeah. Well, I never thought that they're probably the reason why they had moose head cups was probably because of Wally World. Exactly. Oh. Because they, <laughs> they did. That was probably a, a oh, gift from Wally funny. World, and then it just became a thing. It became a thing. Well, I think a lot of people have only seen Christmas Vacation, and not they haven't the seen f- Family Vacation, the original Vacation, or European Vacation, which you can <sighs> kind of skip. They're great. Well, I like European Vacation. It's okay. I mean, yeah, whatever. It kind of brings in the crude humor of Europe, but whatever. yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's really funny. Um, but I never thought that. Oh yeah, duh! It's Wally from Wally World. It makes sense. <laughs> I was like, I'm not. but never you know, put that together. These are great. Got these on Amazon. They were like fifteen dollars for the set. Well, so I think that's kind of it's funny because like if you're talking about like okay cinema drinks, right? The only thing that really makes this an actual cinema drink is the cup. Well, I mean, because like egg, alcoholic eggnog is just a thing. Yeah, no, it's that's not, not true. I don't agree with the, you on that because James Bond, you know, martinis shaken, non stirred. That's yes, a but that's a very big Lebowski, White Russian. Yes, it wasn't about the cup. No, but, White Russians existed before. But in, but in National big Lampoon, Lebowski. the iconic part is the cup. Not the that cup. they're drinking the eggnog. Drink. Yeah, that's but, what I'm saying. But it's a nice tie-in to the holiday oh, for sure. conversation. And for what sure. is your favorite holiday drink? But I'm sa- but I'm saying if you sh- if you had eggnog in any other movie, you wouldn't think about it unless, I mean, this is what makes it. It's what makes it memorable. Yeah, right. And then you also wonder, like, I mean, are is there eggnog in any other movie? 
that you can think of that you're like, oh, yeah, that's good. Well, Not that's the memorable. Santa Claus, they go to Denny's, and they ask for a nice cold cup of eggnog, but they're all out. So he just has decaf coffee <laughs> with Judy. I watched that last night, so that's That movie a, has a lot of bummer moments It's a it. great movie. Yeah. So I like how it took the premise of an absentee father. Oh, god! But he had a good excuse because he's Santa Claus. Yeah, I know. Oh. No, but it brings the family back together, reunites them. It's a happy thing. But back to the drink. So I thought it would be kind of fun to like start a series. I don't know. You can tell me your thoughts. But I thought it would be kind of fun to start a series where we drink the drink, talk about it, and you know, give our opinions on it. So eggnog, but alcoholic actually, yeah. eggnog from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Christmas vacation. I mean, no. Yay? I, no? No, I think it's good. It's awesome. Were you, were, were you giving me a yay or no to the idea or to the In drink? General. I mean, both. Okay. Yay to both, I guess. Great. I mean, it's a good drink. It's kind of awkward to hold. Over yeah, time. you like, can't. You definitely really, like, have you, more the tendency of wanting to. I mean, they hold it just fine. It, I think it's only awkward to hold because I have a mic. In you just got to get my used face. to it. Yeah, you definitely have a tendency to want to set it down between sips. But I'm going to hold on to it here. But it's, it's great. Keeps your hand away from it. Keeps your cup cool. Yeah. If, I mean, if you really wanted to do it true National Lampoon style, we'd have a big bowl. A big bowl. And we'd be dunking so these So I in. was going to do that, but I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to spend $40 on a big old bottle of cognac and then just get ripped today. So I thought. Why not? Well, <laughs> <laughs> tis the morning, my friend. Um, Other drinks. I mean, obviously, Big Lebowski. You got the White Russian, white Russian. Big Lebowski. You, got, you yeah, could try that. Yeah. You know, I've been, people knock it, but yeah. it's a hipster drink, but I love it. Yep. It's a fantastic drink. It's a lot like this, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah, James Bond martinis. You got James Bond martinis. Yep. What else do we got? Other iconic drinks. I mean, alcohol and cinema go hand in hand. I mean, we could if we wanted to talk just straight bourbon, any spaghetti western. We could enjoy that. I know you're not a big fan of bourbon. But, <laughs> but we could talk about that and be like, damn. Well, but they got, like, beer and stuff in westerns. Yeah, and wasn't there a drink in Willy Wonka? There was the one that made him burp. The, the, yeah, the one fizzy lifting little, drink. Yeah, but that's just pop. Well, okay. I mean, we're not going to float up to the ceiling. <laughs> it's got to be a real drink. Sure, and I don't sure, think sure. you can buy a fizzy lifting drink from it, Wonka. It's one of those things that, like, I know there's a lot of, like, classic drinks in yeah. cinema. But, like, thinking about it right like right now, yeah, it's, right. like, hard to remember. What movie I'd has the like, old fashion? It. Which is the old? I mean, Mad Men has old fashion, right, obviously. Right. We could talk about that. But that's television, which is fine. I think any box. media. Yeah, right. And they don't all have to be alcoholic, I don't think. Well, I mean, they like you said, that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so anyway, I mean, I yeah, I, I think, uh, so what's your favorite Christmas drink? My favorite Christmas drink? Like, if you're at a party, yeah. you're in a congregation with people, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, you know, your go-to, what do you, what do you try to have in your hand when you're talking or sitting around casually. during christmas yeah yeah during specifically christmas eggnog, eggnog. That's your thing. You, you have a eggnog is like my my thing dude is that like pretty well uh is that like universal in your family does everybody drink eggnog or is that like um, your thing i think everybody likes eggnog in my family but i think i'm always the one who like made sure it was there how much eggnog do you consume because i feel like i mean one, i feel like maybe two of these i feel like usually during the Christmas season, I will buy one of those and drink the whole thing myself. But, like, over a week or so? Over a day. A day? <laughs> no, maybe that a couple. a lot Maybe of a couple of days. I, I mean, dude, I like eggnog. Sure, you know. sure. No, I agree. I think it's very tasty. I mean, um, I might I might dabble with this a little bit more. Yeah, I would, mess with, I would mess with this drink again. Because pre, pre-today... I'd yep. never done this, and I, I think you had never had alcoholic eggnog. I think it's very tasty. So what? Very sweet. So what's your favorite Christmas drink? Yeah. Then? So like before today, I mean, you know, my go-to was just scotch neat. Okay, it's my thing. I just like scotch during lot. Christmas. Just during anything. Just sit in front if, of the fireplace and contemplate everything that you domination. hate. If I have just scotch readily drinking. available, and there is a reason to socially partake, yep, that's my go-to. But Putting a theme to it, Christmas being the theme. So you're saying this is your new face? Eggnog and cognac. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty great takeover. You're the, you, you have been converted to a new drink. I don't know if I'm fully. I mean, I, I'm not saying no to scotch, 
Okay. I will always, if there's still scotch, I'll have scotch, but I'll do one of these and then maybe a scotch. I'd probably do this over that. Well, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> so that's always kind of my go-to thing. Sure. And that's like with any party kind of, thing. I'm not a big vodka dude, not a big rum dude at all. I'm not a rum dude at all. Yeah. Um, whiskeys are my thing. And so I think this is a great little addition to the whiskey family. Um, right on. And I just find this fascinating how it's like a lava lamp. It just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't mix, man. Um, so do you think that this was a well-placed, is it a prop? It'd be a prop. A well-placed prop in Christmas Family Vacation? Do you think it made sense? Do you think it was a good part of the scene, really added to it? Well, yeah. I mean, now thinking about it, especially that, like, oh, yeah, duh, it's, there are probably cups from Wally World. I now it makes a lot more sense. Do you think the production designer made these? Like, do you think these were designed and, like, hand-blown? Maybe. Think, I mean, they could have been. Do you think they found these? And they're like, these are great. It's hard to say. You've never seen anything like you don't see these. No, in you, you've never seen anything other than what you saw on Christmas vacation. So I'm led to believe they probably made them. They had to make them. They probably made them. Genius. Cause, I think because of and now of Wally World, and now it's a part of our family Christmases. And between Christmas, no, something you this see, this will sit you proudly really, in really my mean, kitchen hutch or my yeah. dining room hutch. It will be lit beautifully. Yeah, and it will look great. I mean, it's probably yeah. You don't even think about it. It's you see a moose mug, and you're like, oh right. Because from Christmas Vacation, yeah, you don't even think about why it's in there. I wonder if anyone watching this is saying to themselves, they really don't care about the movie. They were just trying to find a reason to drink in their Real Talk episode. And if there is no one thinking that, they should be. Because they they're <laughs> correct. So anyway, so I thought it'd be kind of a fun little talking point. I got you your Christmas gift, found your moose mug. Hey-o. Now you get to enjoy and Thanks. partake. And I put the right drink in it because i was like i'm just gonna bring the cops and we'll put whatever in it right we'll yeah, put coffee like, no you gotta do the and drink like, from no, the no, no, movie no. yeah i was like if we're gonna do that we cannot bastardize no, that's a cool, the prop we gotta that's make a cool it idea. Right. so well so, cheers, cheers to that to cheers to christmas Merry and christmas you know, and uh this week will be a fun week yeah god bless america <laughs> Or whatever she says. She says the national anthem. Oh, at the Pledge of Allegiance? The Pledge of Allegiance. Stay great. The blessing. The blessing. Thanks for bringing in the drink. I think that was a cool idea. You're welcome. And maybe we can do more of these. I mean, with how well this one's gone, I I second that one. (laughs) Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. (laughs)